All right, testing one, two, three. There it is. All right. Hey, what's going on, my friends? Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Uh, Network. That's right. I keep forgetting that part. Well, it is Tuesday, January 18th, not June, like I previously mentioned on the last uh, podcast there. I got mixed up a little bit. Not much, but hey, you know, I'd like to think... June, right? The summer, when it's nice and warm. It is cold. I think we're at uh, about the mid-20s, early, er, (laughs) early. Uh, (laughs) The uh, 20s, friends. It is kind of cold here. We haven't had any new snow, but that's okay. Well, all right, friends. Listen, I'm going to just go ahead and pray it in real quick as I get uh, set up here in the studio. uh, 358 here on your dial. And I just wanted to come on here, give you guys uh, just a couple of quick update uh, messages on the future of the channel. Now I know I've been away. I have not uh, been as you know I've been haven't been on there as much as I'd like to be. Uh, some things came up and uh, kind of stepped back a little bit, but uh, you know I'm praying on it, of course. I uh, I just have spent, uh, you know, too much blood, sweat, and tears on these podcasts co- to completely just fold up and walk away. So that part's not going to happen. Uh, it's the scheduling issues that I've been uh, really combating and having a uh, kind of a deal, you know, or, or to deal with and kind of an issue uh, because we have so much uh, construction and labor stuff going on in the studios, uh, you know, and I thought uh, at one point in time that we were going to be moving to a different location. Well, that kind of went on the back burner. Uh, so apparently everything is being pushed off for uh, the latter part of the summer, early part of fall. Uh, so... For the immediate future, we're okay, and we're going to stay in the same location, which is great, right? That's the whole point uh, of setting up a shop and, and getting, uh, you know, kind of used to everything and, and accustomed to things. So, uh, anyway, so that part's stable. Well, I think we're okay for now. We're just going to, you know, obviously just a day at a time, not worry about too much. Uh, give it over to God, of course, but... Uh, You know, uh, as I am going to address this, uh, the future of this channel and where I'm going with things. Uh, You know, like I said, I'm not going to completely quit and walk away from it. It's just the scheduling issues I'm having with uh, or, you know, having to deal with uh, and the, you know, and I I get it. I, I don't know how to... Uh, approach this it's the lack of support that I'm feeling um you know and, and again it's it's a touchy sensitive situation um and uh you know I I do appreciate all the support I have been getting over the over you know several years 11 years or so uh doing the broadcast and I do appreciate you guys that are already on here supporting uh you know, with all that, uh, you know, just subscribing, following, uh, liking the channel, giving it a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. So please don't take that personal, uh, you know, like I'm just kind of on the, you know, I don't know how to even how to word it. But I have been praying on this for such a long time, uh, you know, and in. in getting emails about changing the format and, and doing something different and, and, you know, changing religions and interviews and stuff. Well, I, you know, and I have done some interviews. I have, obviously, you guys can listen to the playback and the feedback on that. Uh, I have brought in uh, some great, you know, uh, interviews. I've done some, you know, brought in some guests, which I will do. I, I'm planning on doing that you know, continually here uh, throughout the broadcast. It's, you know, again, this has been kind of weighing on my heart for a little bit, and I just didn't know how to approach it. I've been praying and, and, you know, giving it over to God and 
Like, how do I do this? What What's the point? And, and again, I get into the flesh a minute, and it's like, uh, here I go again. You know, what's the point? I kind of feel like I'm spinning my wheels. And you guys know that have been following me and listening here that um, how transparent I am with you. I'm going to lay it on the lay, you know, lay it on the table. I'm going to put the cards on the table and, and just tell it like it is, right? And, and just give it to you up front here. Um, you know, and again, I do appreciate you guys very, very much. I am humbled to be called into this mission and this miss, missionary, not missionary, but uh, the <laughs> as I'm. Uh, the mission, you know, and the calling, I, that's that's a great privilege. And I, um, you know, I kind of feel like a missionary, really, uh, you know, uh, uh, treading into the, into the uh, never-ending technical world, I guess, and, the, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the, all that stuff. So I kind of do feel like a missionary on, on a mission, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, you know, and I, I, I'm not changing formats. Uh, I'm going to keep it as, you know, biblically as possible, uh, and just giving you guys, uh, you know, Bible studies or a Bible study, right. As I've been doing that, uh, is how I've been taught and I don't see changing that, uh, anytime soon. So, you know, as I'm, like I said, I kind of felt like I have been just spinning my wheels here. Um, but I am going to keep fighting. You guys that are, are here and continue to follow me throughout all these broadcasts and these podcasts, um, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I have been taking my own advice, my own messages uh, dig in, keep holding on, give it to God, let him, you know, uh, just, what is it, uh, drop your net, pick up your cross, and follow him. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, again, just kind of hit a stumbling block. Uh, again, kind of going back to that, I kind of feel like I'm spinning my wheels. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not making any progress. But, again, it comes down to the enemy. It comes down to the devil. Trying to throw things off for me because he knows that I am uh, continuing on this mission field. So, with that being said, let's pray it in, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, I can get this sorted out. Uh, now, I do have a podcast scheduled for tonight at ten o'clock. Uh, and I am looking at the Restream TV network, uh, of course, with all the other channels as well. So I have reset that for 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight on Restream TV. And you guys know the channels that I'm on. Uh, I'm going to continue part seven, uh, 400 Years of Silence Between the Testaments and the apocryphal books. And then we're going to look at the Maccabees 9 and 10. Uh, and then we'll see kind of time-wise there. Now, I usually time them out for an hour and 45 minutes. That's what I get at Blog Talk Radio. Uh, sometimes, obviously, it's ran over two hours. So I never know what, uh, really what I'm going to be doing So uh, on that. And I just don't, you know, I don't want to cut off too quick or too soon so join me if you will we'll be doing a full broadcast tonight um and uh like i said this is just kind of a, a brief you know channel update uh future of the channel uh i have you know i've taken uh, at least a couple of days off here in between broadcasts um, I think it was the 15th, and we're at the 18th. So it's just been a couple of days, um, and, uh, you know, just trying to figure things out, figure out what I want to do with this channel, and how, uh, and again, kind of bringing it right back to that, um, the support. Uh, I've been, again, getting back to this thing. It's like I'm spinning my wheels here. Uh, but I know I'm not. I know that's what the devil wants me to think. And I know that that's what he 
uh, wants me to believe. So, I'm going to stand my ground. I refuse uh, to quit. I refuse to shut down the channel, uh, friends. So, what I'm probably going to end up doing, and let me move my microphone here, because I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, what I will probably do is go back to the original scheduled plan, which is going to be Sunday, Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, I and I'm going to be starting the scheduling. Uh, well, obviously tonight I will be back on 10 o'clock. We're going to run, uh, run it back here, run a full podcast a uh, couple hours or so, uh, and probably, um, I don't know, I'll have to kind of take it easy, you know, see how I uh, am feeling on this, and, and definitely praying. But uh, I probably will not be back on again until uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking kind of, you know, tonight, not tomorrow, uh, possibly not Thursday. So I'll be taking Wednesday and Thursday out and then resetting that for Friday. Uh, and I'm not sure on the weekends, but I do know we should do a Sunday service, so I will be trying to do that. And it's either going to be at 11.30 in the morning, or it's going to be uh, at night, 8 or 9 o'clock at night. So, again, um, I'm going to see what that does. So, uh, and, and like I talked about the last broadcast, the last uh, kind of scheduling thing I was set up on, it was going to be um, doing, uh, you know, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays on Restream TV, and then doing the audio portion of the broadcast of the podcast there on Spreaker in between days so that there was something there. But again, uh, I'm going to kind of readdress that and pray on it and... Um, you know, of course, give this all over to God uh, to find out what, you know, where I stand, where what I need to do. Uh, and again, I I really appreciate you guys that are on here, that are listening, coming in and, and supporting uh, the channel that way, that way um, through, you know, like I said, the thumbs up, the follows, uh, subscribing to the channels. Uh, you know, that's, that's really amazing. And, and again, I'm really, really humbled, uh, to be able to be, you know, called into this mission and, and just keep, you know, bring these messages out to you. So, um, but, uh, yeah. So <laughs> as I kind of get lost in thought here, friends, let's go ahead and just pray it in real quick. Uh, Heavenly Father. You know I always give you, uh, you know, I give you all the honor, glory, and, uh, and praise here. This isn't about me. This is uh, only about you and being in service to you and, and you know, and, and gratitude towards you of what you've done and what you continue to do. Uh, you know, even uh, you pulled me from the darkest days. Uh, and show me that uh, light. So as the enemy is here, he approaches and he is here. Uh, as he tries to take me down in thought uh, and, um, you know, um, just kind of throws me, tries to throw me off uh, my path and the pattern that you have uh, called me to, this mission. Uh, Father God, I fight back. I got to fight back and stand my ground at what you have called me to do. This is, uh, you know, I know the enemy is here and I know he's trying to do everything he can because his time is short. He's trying to disrupt things with everybody, not just me, with family, friends, everybody connected, everybody hearing, watching, and listening to these broadcasts, these podcasts here. 
uh, Father God, they, he, he's on the attack. Him and his minions are definitely on the war path. They're on the attack. They don't want this message out. They, they try to, you know, throw these thought, uh, thoughts in my mind and, uh, of confusion and anger and frustration and, uh, you know, uh, as like I said, he, he's trying to, you know, make me think I'm just kind of spinning my wheels and wasting time. But I know that's from the enemy, God. I know that is from the devil, the liar, uh, the father of lies. You know, he's a de- uh, just deceitful. Um, or deceit. What is the that's the word there, Father God? He's he's uh, deceiving. And I, as I have continued to preach this word, this message, um, you know, we gotta dig in, press in, and hold on, no matter what, uh, Father God. So um, I'm gonna stick to your plan. Um, you know, not about my personal feelings, uh, as my family struggles, uh, you know, friends, uh, and I know everybody watching and hearing, I know they're, they've got daily struggles as well. So Father God, I call on you, I, I pray to you that, uh, you know, you have your uh, hand on this ministry, you have your hands on, on everybody, uh, that I've been praying for on a daily basis uh, to change their hearts to um, you know to um, just continue to lift them up and encourage them um, you know as as we all go through these struggles so Father God I lean on you I trust in you I hold on to you um, I know the devil want, and again I know the devil wants me to just disappear and stop doing these as he's throwing all kinds of attacks on me not only just the Wi-Fi, the the channel, the the you know the um, <laughs> the the studio here, uh, the Wi-Fi, the connections. I know he's been trying to he's been messing with that. He's been trying to shut it down. Uh, and you know, and then we just can't uh, we can't let him do it. We can't l- listen to him. We got to ignore him and and just uh, you know I've got to just keep pressing on him, digging in uh, as he continues to hit me with depression uh some anxieties and uh some worry and of course the discouragement uh you know because he's you know he's throwing the, these attacks on me these you know um financial problems and in struggles and in you know and all that and and again i know it's coming from the devil i know it's coming from the enemy so i gotta press in and dig in father god i always give it over to you uh you know it takes me a minute to get past my own <laughs> my own hurts uh and just move forward and and you know just keep leaning on you so i'm i'm gonna press in father god for now uh you know day at a time and and just give it all to you so i thank you i thank you for uh, you know, bringing in the hearers of the word, the ones that really need to hear this word in the messages. Uh, you know, even the enemies that are, are, are trying to sabotage the channels. Uh, bless them too. You know, I, they're struggling and they need to hear some words. So, uh, you know, just bless, uh, bless them. And, uh, you know, I thank you for the encouragement and the strength. And the you know the wisdom, the discernment, uh, Father God. So thank you. Uh, that's all I can do is just thank you and uh, give this over to you and Jesus' precious name. I pray, Amen. All right, friends. Well, that is your brief update. I know I said brief before, and sometimes they run forty-five minutes and fifty minutes sometimes. But uh, now, again, I have this next podcast set up to 10 o'clock. That is the start time. Uh, that is kind of where I'm at with this right now, friends. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually get on there um, at, at that time frame. But uh, I'm going to reset this. Um, because the restream, for some reason, 
when you set a time up, um, it will not change the original timing on it. It only changes the surface time frame on it. And they are working on that. So uh, so that's where that's at, uh, friends. So I have uh, taken it out. So don't worry. I'm going to reset it. And I think, I, like I said, I want it at 10 so I can get some time in there to eat. And definitely a rest. It has been a very long morning. I think I actually broke a record and slept five hours since yesterday. So that's uh, pretty amazing. So, but um, yeah, so don't worry. I'm going to reset tonight's broadcast for 10. I just want to address the future of this channel. Uh, again, kind of not really knowing where what I want to do and where I want to go with it. Um, again, kind of felt like I've been spinning my wheels, you know. And, and I've talked about that. I brought that up a few times here. but And that's been really weighing on my heart, uh, friends. And, and again, you guys know a transparent uh, lay everything out on the line and tell you what's going on. And always continue to do that. As I'm yawning again, mercy, I got to get more coffee. Uh, <laughs> hang on here, friends. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, friends, you know, it's just one of them things where that devil comes in there and, you know, he just comes in there to kill, steal, and destroy. And he, he doesn't want uh, any of this messages out. He is on his last days, and uh, I, and as I call it, he's on his last leg. So he is pressing. Uh, you know, he's doing the same thing we are. He's pressing in. He's digging in. And so, you know, what do we? We what? Do we, can't listen to that. We can't. We can't listen to him. You know, because he he just is mad. He doesn't want this message out. He doesn't. He's trying to disrupt at every cost that he everything that he can do. At pay, you know any cost. So, what do we got to do, friends? You know, we got to dig into God. We got to trust Him, and we got to keep giving it over to Him, no matter what. Um, and I know, I boy, everything I share with you guys, those are my notes that I go to when I'm getting attacked. And I get, you know, I guess I laid that out on the line there. You know, those of us that are doing this, we're getting real heavy-duty attacks. Uh, you know, and, and it's like, man, uh, when is enough enough, you know? Uh, but... As I was told before, and what, right? Uh, we can't give in. We can't stop. We got to press forward uh, no matter what. And, you know, and you guys know, I, boy, I enjoy doing these podcasts for sure. But it is a lot of work. Um, and, and then again, it goes right back to, uh, and, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> you know, come on now. If you're doing the Lord's work and you're pressing in, of course we are going to get the attacks. Um, we are definitely going to get the attacks. And so we got to ignore all that, keep digging in, don't worry about it, knowing that God has a plan for each and every one of us. And, uh, you know, he will prevail. He always does. So we're going to get back to the video Part of the broadcast, friends, the uh, video part of the podcast. And, uh, you know, jump back on Restream TV, of course. Uh, and I've been off it for a while because I've been having, as I addressed on the last podcast, uh, friends, I have been uh, experiencing some more of the, I guess, twitches. I don't know what you call it. Um, because of the nerve damage in my face uh, and just having all kinds of issues. I mean, really. I mean, I you know, I've been experiencing it off and on for the last couple of years, but it's it's increased. And then, you know, like I said, we talked about that before, the personal uh, injury that I had. So, um, you know, lay it at uh, God's feet and keep moving on, right? So... Uh, 
<laughs> man. I didn't even, like I said, friends, you guys know how transparent, you know how upfront I am. I, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know how to address, really address this. I prayed on it uh, and stayed off for a couple of days. Um, and again, might go back to that scheduling Sunday, Monday, uh, Wednesday, Friday. So, you know, we'll, again, we'll see how it goes. I just feel if I take two or three days off, I really feel like I'm cheating God and I, you know, on a personal note, I feel like I'm cheating you guys by not being as consistent and digging in, you know, kind of hypocritical a little bit by not digging in daily, like every single day, you know, and that's what I should be at. That's where I should be at on these podcasts is to dig in and keep pressing in every single day and giving you guys a good solid hour and 45 minutes to two plus hours of straight biblical studies. Um, But as I found through the conditions that I have, um, it's just, it hasn't been possible to do that. You know, not that I'm trying to uh, quit on it or cop out on it. It's, it's physically um, tiring. I mean, it's, it's just physically, uh, you know, um, I guess tiring is probably the best word, really, you know, and uh, I don't know. So (laughs) anyway, I guess that's where I'm going to kind of leave this. Um, you know, um, this was just to address, uh, again, as I title, I'm going to title this, the future of the channel, uh, and what I want to do here. Um, I know I'm not walking away from it. Uh, I might, uh, you know, I don't know. Like I said, it's up in the air right now, friends. And, uh, you know, I do appreciate you guys, you know, the links that I got set up. Uh, for uh, the ministry here. You guys feel that on your hearts to go ahead and do that. I appreciate that in advance. And uh, yeah, stick around. Bring your Bibles and your coffee. Uh, And like I said, uh, should be on at 10 tonight. Uh, It is Tuesday, January 18th. uh, And I'm planning on, well, I mean, I'm going to reset that for 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you know, and you guys know, you know, if I schedule something, I just wait for the red light, you know, that I'm on, then I'll post out that I am on live. It just somehow it just changes or I fall asleep Um, because not only, and you guys know this, not only am I doing the broadcasts uh, and the podcast and the ministry full time seven days a week, even though I'm not, I could said that quite a few times, even though I'm not on uh, the main channels, I'm still on the other ones and I'm trying to rest in between and still do uh, and keep up with the, um, <laughs> with the upgrades, with the renovations. And that just wears me out. And as you guys know, talked about this on the last couple of podcasts, We've had single-digit uh, weather, or what do you call it, single digits uh, in, the, in the temperatures, and, it, boy, waist-deep snow uh, hit us like a 24- to 48-hour period. It just wouldn't stop snowing. So, you know, I've had to crawl up on the roof and, and you know, eight to, I don't know, I spent at least a whole day uh, shoveling and, and, and you guys know, Hey, we're all hit with this weather situation. You know, it's hitting all over the country, not just in certain locations. We're all getting hit with something, right? Uh, so I don't know, like I said, I don't know whether to do, uh, the four day a week, um, you know, restream TV video part of the broadcast or just stick with the audio part of the podcast. Um, I really enjoy doing the video part, um, you know, on the channel, but it, it takes a little bit more toll out of me. And, you know, I, I sit on the, uh, with the mixer, we've got, you know, like you guys know, I've set up through channel two through the mixer, uh, through Spreaker and, um, got my new boom arm in by the way. Uh, so that, uh, upgrade came in and man is it awesome 
Uh, I don't have to move it around so much, and it actually stays in one spot. So, uh, heavy duty setup for the XML mic that I've got. Uh, where I got here? Make sure this is all set up. The MXL. So, uh, it's specifically built for the mic that I have, which makes a big difference. The other one was great, but it wasn't as durable or sturdy uh, as that one. So, uh, pretty excited actually. <laughs> As I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, what a difference! Uh, what a difference in construction on this. Uh, it's actually built and pre built and set up for the specific and exact uh, mic that I have. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, like I said, friends, uh, I wanted to get on here, give you guys a, a real kind of a table talk. Um, discussion i guess update message here uh you know as i always do i just get real with you and and, and share things that's on my mind that's on my heart um you know and i i gotta keep pressing in you know i not just only uh you know for myself but for you guys as well uh as i've been getting you know i, I answer all the emails myself i personally uh, have taken that role on here in this ministry. And I know God's hand's not like I pray and God's hand is on this ministry. I know this is his calling. And as the scriptures clearly tell us that, you know, a thousand days to us is a minute for him and there's something like that. You guys know the scripture. <laughs> and I'm like, man, am I done yet? Can I just go back to some kind of something normal? And I was like, I, he he said, nope, I don't think so. I'm going to get you on a desk, and that's where you're going to sit for a minute. So, you know, his his minutes, uh, you know, could be a long time. So, um, anyway, so that's where I'm at, you guys. And I just wanted to just get on here and let you guys, you know, give you a heads up on, on where I'm at and why there are a few gaps in between broadcasts. And plus, especially since I haven't been on the live video part of the podcast and quite a bit uh, as I'm looking at uh, scheduling and stuff. Um, I think the last live uh, video part was the 28th of December. And again, that's when I started getting the, you know, the bad part of the nerve damage. It really hit me and there was some real kind of weird things going on, strange things going on with my, my you know, the nerve damage and stuff uh, because of the seizure and the tremors and all that. And, and so I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't want to get on, on the air and, you know. Uh, even though I was always praying and giving it over to God for that, I knew uh, you know, God's got it, but it's it's still it's a little comfortable, and I I just didn't feel like, uh, you know, battling that uh, while I was on air with you guys. You know, you guys deserve, um, uh, you know, solid teachings and solid Bible study uh, without the problems, and so that's why I've been kind of switched over to the audio part of it. It's easier, and then if I have an issue or something, I can take care of it, you know. Um, it's pretty bad when I yawn on the air, you know, when I'm actually, uh, you know, on the on the live broadcast, and I actually just yawn, uh, you know, or, or kind of, you know, how that, how that went, friends. And uh, so I didn't feel comfortable doing that. I just didn't want to do that. And I thought it'd be better at least to try to get something out every couple of days or so. Uh, you know, but uh, again, uh, I'm going to just, well, I'm taking a day at a time, of course, or a minute at a time for sure, and uh, keep giving it over to God. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to get on as much as possible, um, you know, uh, and keep you know, I'll just keep uh, giving it over to God. And um, so that's kind of where I'm at. That's where things sit right now. Um, and um, I guess I will see you when I see you and see you on the next broadcast here. Again, you know, I'm going to reset this for 10 tonight uh, about that time. I can probably get some rest in here in between. Uh, a little after 4.30 p.m., 
uh, again here at, um, oh, what is it, uh, January 18th already, friends. We're already in the, boy, time is going fast. We're, we're in, already in the, in the thick of uh, January already, uh, friends. So thank you, guys. I always appreciate you. I'm always, <clears throat> I'm always humbled uh, to get on here share this message i wanted to just kind of share some some of my heart i guess uh personal a uh, little bit of personal uh, issues going on and i'm dealing with and uh you know i know where the source is at and i just got to keep pressing in like i said i could tell you guys hey you know dig in press in hold on and i guess uh, you know i'm gonna point that right back at me and go Yep, you're going to preach it. You better do it. So uh, that's where I'm at, friends, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, trying to figure out, again, the biggest issue I'm having is my scheduling. Uh, trying to work around the, you know, the 8 to 8 in the morning, 7 in the morning construction work going on here uh, in the studios uh, and the reconstruction of our, our roof. Which is, you know, the two awnings and the carport and the all that stuff. We're doing a lot of that. But it's trying to figure a way to podcast. Uh, and I can't even use the mobile units right now because they're out. They're, they're, they're not operatable or no uh, power in them right now. And so there really isn't an option. Um, so... Um, that, like I said, that's the biggest issue I'm having right now is trying to schedule the podcast. Um, you know, I get, uh, you know, some time in between, but it's like I either broadcast at two or three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> you know, kind of has my nights turned to days and my days turned to nights. You know, sleep all day and podcast all night, I guess. That's kind of uh, where the option of where I'm at. Because, like I said, we've got uh, construction crews coming in and out from 7 or 8 in the morning. And it's last all day. It's like all day. Today was really the first time I was able to, you know. I mean, there's been some days that I've had great opportunity. Uh, but the we've had the Wi-Fi problems again. That That's still an issue. And even though I got the backup in the studio, um, it's still really kind of an issue. And I'm addressing that. I'm taking care of that. So, again, today I had an opportunity, um, you know, as I got some of the earlier stuff taken care of. And I was like, nah, I'm just, uh, it's time. Let's go. And I better address this. And I better uh, let you guys know what's kind of going on here. So, uh, thank you guys. I guess that's all I can say for now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your support. Don't give up on me, friends. Uh, I'm still here. I'm not switching out the format. Uh, I had a had a contract kind of come over my desk there uh, to jump um, onto something else, and I'm not going to do it. That's not what God told me. That's not what my uh, former pastors have taught me. Um, it's not worth it. And I'm going to stick to the format. I'm just going to give you a, you know, Bible, uh, a Bible study straight from the word. Uh, give you a few little anecdotes, few little jokes there, and we'll have some coffee. And, uh, yeah. And, and so again, um, they're going to be between an hour and 45 minutes to a little over two hours. Cause I, that's the timing I, I get. Uh, on the Blood Talk radio channel. It was about an hour and 45 minutes or so. So, I can't really do a broadcast in five minutes. <laughs> you know, as much as I get from the Spirit and, and as much as I have, um, you know, you are you go to church, they're over an hour. I mean, everything I, like I talked about before, everything I've been learning in my churches, the former churches that i've gone to were over two hours four some of them were three or four uh so you know <laughs> again you gotta control you know i i don't know what the word is on that one but uh you, you just gotta you know soak in the word get the word in uh i always think that i just don't do enough 
you know, even even as much full time effort as I put into these broadcasts for eleven or twelve years, I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm cheating God, you know, and that's that weighs guilt on me. Uh, you know, and and so I I don't know what else to do. <laughs> like I said, this is a full time position, seven days a week, every single day. God just laid this out, gave me an opportunity to go, hey, I got an opportunity for you. What are you going to do with it? Here's your cross, and here's your net. Which one are you going to pick up? Well, that's what I looked at. It's like, oh, I better pick up the cross and drop the net. Because there's only, to me, feels like there's only one option. And I hope I, you know, I'm helping in your walk. Uh, in your daily studies, I give you a lot of scriptures. I throw <laughs> I throw out a lot of, uh, I think, and I feel really great scriptures uh, for you to meditate on. Uh, you know, as we go into the NLT, we go into King James, go into the Torah. Uh, I've been doing these series, these Bible study series, as I am now. Uh, the 400 years of silence in between testaments. And then we're going to look at the Maccabees, of course. So, you know, the four books of the Maccabees. So uh, that's, you know, I just got to, I'm going to stick to that plan. Uh, it's how I've been taught. And, uh, you know, I can't, as I've been having these options of just, oh, just change your format, go over here on the left side and, you know, talk about that stuff, and it's like, no, that I can't, man. I, I just can't. That's not where I've been told, and that's not what God wants me to do. That's that's distractions from the enemies, and or the enemy, you know, and I, I just can't do that. And, you know, I, I got, God gave me a mission. Again, he stuck me on a desk with some coffee and said, here you go, this is what you're going to do. So, as he gives each of us an assignment, a mission, it gives you the tools and gives you the uh, knowledge of what you need to do, and it's like, okay, well, that's too hard, I'm not going to do it. Here, no, you can take it. And that's not how that works. I mean, at least personally for me, you know, he's put me on this, and it's like I said, it's been... Uh, it's been a huge, uh, I mean, a lot of victories, of course, but a lot of struggles, you know, as I said, blood, sweat, and tears, you know, uh, frustration, financial hindrance, uh, you know, in debt, uh, you know, and, and, and just like a lot of struggles. But then I kind of sat back and I'm like, what would Jesus do? What would his plan be? You know, or, you know, what would he do? What, what, how would he handle the situation? And that puts it all in perspective. And, you know, as I've told you guys, he gave me all of the equipment. He laid it out for me, brought me out of my exodus and, you know, put me in a semi, <laughs> semi paradise, you know. I'm like, I have an actual studio to work in. Uh, and you guys can go back to those old podcasts a few years ago. You you guys will know where I was at and, and what I was struggling with. And, you know, there's nothing like trying to do a, a, a broadcast in the middle of a storm uh, by candlelight, you know. And back then I only had the, the one laptop. Now he's opened this up and, you know, I actually have a real studio with real heat uh, and power. <laughs> and, you know, I think we've only lost power a couple of times, but, you know, we have the backup on it. And he was like, well, uh, how many times do I got to keep giving you a clue uh, and options and you don't take it? So I kind of took it to the heart and was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I think I better wisen up here and and stick to God's plan and not mine, not not what I want to do. Even though, again, even though I was saying, ah, I'm just spinning my wheels. Nobody cares. It's not working. Uh, it's time to quit. It's time to walk away. And I was almost at that point, friends. But God reeled it back in and said, no, that's not where you're going to be. And that's not what you're going to do. I gave you a plan, and I gave you everything. I provided what you needed. Don't pay attention to 
the distractions of the devil. And as I applied those scriptures that I share with you guys on each and every broadcast, um, you know, it made it clear. And then, of course, then the devil's going to go in there, throw his two cents in there. Ah. Well, he did the same thing with Adam and Eve, right? And he, uh, you know, he continues to throw out those temptations and distractions and, ah, nobody cares. You're just spinning. You're not doing nothing good. <sighs> really, devil? Is that all you got? <laughs> Come on. Tell me something. <laughs> Tell me something new. Give me some good news, devil. Well, that's not what he does. You know that. He doesn't give us good news. He gives us horrible news, and he tries to throw us off and distract us and go, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got a couple of scriptures I'm going to read for you here as we close out, uh, again, this update here, uh, the future of the channel. Oh, let's get into it, friends. Go ahead and move this man I, i'm so happy with this microphone uh stand the boom arm uh came in and uh i am really happy with it now give me a minute let me make a quick adjustment here because it's got some issues didn't get a chance to kind of tighten this up here so um zoom in all right give me a second here my friends uh, we'll see where that's at. Uh, I don't, it's great. I actually don't have to uh, move it too much. It actually just stays kind of right where I want it. So pretty awesome. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and just uh, close out here, friends. I think I want to read Psalm 23 and uh, maybe Psalm 91. A little bit of energy, a little bit of uh, pick-me-up scripture, uh, friends. Amen. Let me grab a little bit of coffee here. I keep forgetting I don't have my uh, Channel 1 headset on. Uh, I'm just recording live on Channel 2 through the mixer. So, pretty good. Amen. Man, I should have <laughs> heard this a long time ago. What a blessing. How awesome is that? Amen. All right. Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. Let's go ahead and close out with this. Now, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, and he leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, you rod and your staff to comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows, surely my goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. All right, let's roll right on to one of my other favorite uh, scriptures there. As we look at Psalm 91, friends. And have some issues with my pens there. All right, so let's go ahead and read Psalm 91. Let's go ahead and close out. Now, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in him whom I trust, or my Elohim, uh, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness in uh is a shield and buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you now you only look in your eyes or with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall on you, and no plague come near your tent. Right? All right. 
adjustments there. Amen. Now, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On your hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone, and you will tread on the lion and the adder. The lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him. And because he knows my name, when he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will rescue him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation, or Yahusha. So, my go-to scriptures, which I had to dig back in earlier today, because in the last couple of days, actually, uh, really, uh, really, really been... Boy, I've been really feeling down uh, and a little bit dejected, uh, friends. And, you know, of course, as I shared with you, I've been feeling really discouraged um, as I just look at things. And it's like, what's the point? What's Why am I doing this? And I think I got interviewed one time uh, on one media broadcast on uh, one of the channels. And they asked me, um, you know... Uh, about what uh, what I plan on doing, what I was going to do, and what made mine uh, my broadcast different. And I said, well, it's a personal perspective of the Bible, uh, you know, really reading uh, spiritually, uh, you know, in the spirit. Um, and uh, you know, we talked about it quite a few things there, and it was like, you know, um, and again, I always know, I always knew that this broadcast, the way I set things up and do things here is a little different. Uh, it may not be, but that's just my perspective of it as I see it. It's, it may not be, you know, really different, um, but I think it is. I think I offer uh, a different, uh, you know, a different perspective on it uh, as I just kind of, you know, go through the scriptures and stuff. And again, I know I've been having a lot of physical issues here, friends, talking, speaking, uh, kind of stuttering a little bit. And and again, that's from the seizure, that's from the medical issues that I've been having, but I've been plowing through it, and I know that's what, again, that's what God wants me to do, friends. And I, you know, I, as I tell you, I'm talking from the heart here, uh, a little different uh, podcast, a little different uh, setup tonight, so... But I wanted to share that with you. Like I said, lay it all, all on the line. I do appreciate you guys' support, everybody that's already been with me all these years. Uh, you know, and when God gave me that uh, that vision of uh, change the name, you're going worldwide. You're not just local uh, in your local area, but it is worldwide. It is worldwide. And I thought about changing the name over, and it's like, no, that's what God gave me for now. And then we added the network because, uh, you know, it, it branches out and covers all the other channels that I'm on. Not just worldwide, but not just the certain channels that you guys know that I'm on. But it really branches out into a network of other channels, and that just kind of branches off as the olive branches you know kind of that that kind of parable um the ministry has actually uh you know hit a a pretty major milestone as far as viewpoint uh view counts um i have hit the million mark and that is amazing to me uh with all the combined channels uh and all the combined uh you know the podcast catchers the stations the channels worldwide in every single country and everywhere in between it's hit the million mark so that's huge that's amazing to me and i'm like well why are you complaining why do you you know why do you <laughs> why do you sit and complain and think oh you're just spinning your wheels you're not doing nothing well you are i made a huge progress and that's all because of you guys that's not me. You know, God gave us, he put me in a position and said, here, you know, and um, as I always said, I told you guys, you guys are the motivation of why I do it. And then when I try to, you know, kind of get slack and like, oh, I don't want to do this. Uh, I'm reminded of why I'm, why I'm doing this and why I'm here, what my purpose is, what my position is. 
you know, um, and, and and I've heard, I got feedback uh, from a lot of you guys. I've, I've gotten, you know, I answer all the email, emails myself, and um, I I get the feedback. I under, I, I appreciate that about you know there you help me and you give me some scriptures to look at you know family friends uh strangers you know people that are just happen to jump on the channel for you know 10 15 minutes and let's do it well oh yeah you know this is oh this is pretty good so uh again you know just kind of looking at numbers and and subscribers and stuff i'm like ah, man but, again, you guys reel it back in for me, and I do personally appreciate that on a personal level. And, uh, like I said, not going anywhere. I'm not going to quit. Um, I, I I don't think Jesus would quit on us, right? As he, as he you know, as he was doing his mission, uh, you know, he didn't quit. And so his struggle, as much as he struggled with, uh, you know, we all struggle in our daily walk and our daily journey, right? Um, so we just got to hold on, friends. I know, uh, I know it can be difficult, and and I, like I said, I'm going through all kinds of stress and anxiety and, and panic and uh, discouragement here myself, you know. And and I just, man, I'm like, I, I and it's like to me, it's it brings back a parable, friends, real quick here. It brings back the parable of, like, I got a million-dollar gold-plated car sitting in my garage or sitting, you know, it, you know, with, with a safe, well, I don't know, locked in a safe somewhere or something like that with the keys that are all gold and everything. But, uh, and it's the same thing with the Bible and stuff, but this parable came to me. is like, okay, I got a million-dollar car, gold-plated, solid gold-plated, I can use it anytime I want, but I don't use it. I just cover it up and keep it, you know, locked away somewhere. I'm like, well, what? what's the point of having that kind of vehicle, that kind of car, when you don't do nothing with it? It just sits there and you just look at it. Yeah, it looks great. Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, uh, yeah, God, you're right. You know, you gave me all, you laid it out, gave me all the equipment, set up the studio for me, and I'm not doing enough with it. You know, I feel like I should be doing more. But again, uh, getting tired and stuff, that's that's kind of, you know, the physical part of this is what I'm talking about. I mean, that, you know, that's, you guys know the hours and stuff. But that's the parable I came up with and that I saw. And it's like, okay, he laid this out. He gave this, uh, you know, I call it God's radio station. It's not mine. It's I'm just a voice. Like I will tell you, I'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness. And he supplied all our needs. You know, he supplied all my needs. He gave me everything that I needed to have uh, really to progress and go further. But, you know, of course, the devil comes in there and throws his two cents in there and goes, hey, hey yeah, I got another plan for you. Ugh, devil, <laughs> just quit. <laughs> That's who we should be telling, friends. We should just be telling the devil to quit and, and just, you know, forget about it. Go pack a lunch and get some coffee and forget about it, right? <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at with that. It just kind of brought in a sense of humor as I was looking at everything, kind of looking at the big picture. So... Uh, again, I am humbled, you guys. I do appreciate you. Pastor Rick, World Wide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, hanging out in the studio. I am going to get uh, a little bit of coffee warmed up here. Um, reset the broadcast here at 10, 410. Uh, again, if anything changes or comes up, I'll let you guys know. But uh, I am going to reset that. As we continue our series, study series actually, uh, the 400 years of silence between testaments with the Maccabees uh, 9 and 10. And then uh, the apocryphal books as we look at quite a bit actually, uh, family. We're going to, man, this is going to be so exciting. I'm really 
uh, glad that, uh, you know, I brought this up. And I know the devil's been trying to stop it for so long. He's just throwing all kinds of obstacles at me. But uh, as I look at my notes here, uh, family, we're going to continue with Ecclesiastes, the wisdom of Jesus, the son of Sirach which is also going to be over in the Orthodox Study Bible, where we're going to be reading the Maccabees at. But it covers Baruch and the Israel's Israel's misfortunes, a prayer of penance, uh, the letter of Jeremiah. And uh, we'll kind of have to see how far we get on that because there's still quite a few left. And again, we are uh, going to be looking, and I'll continue that study too in the Maccabees, uh, first, second, third, fourth Maccabees. But we're about at the tail end of it, so I'll split that up to maybe one or two more uh, sessions here. And uh, then, it, of course, then it gives you guys some charts, which looks at uh, Nineveh. Uh, and the time frame and all that, it's really neat. And it's just so much uh, involved in this. Uh, so uh, that's exciting. Like I said, I wanted to get back into it. And I, I've been trying to for quite a while. And uh, I know the devil's mad and he doesn't want this out. He's trying to stop this at every single opportunity and options he's got. So... Which I always tell him, hey, uh, devil dude, you're running out of options, so <laughs> you better pack up and uh, reheat your coffee and keep going, right? Keep the stepping. Keep the walking. Uh, <laughs> amen. Anyway, uh, listen, I, I appreciate you guys. Uh, have a great, uh, great time here. Um, I will see you guys in uh, about five or six hours or so, maybe I don't know, 10, 10, 30, something like that. I have no idea. Um, I, I, I will uh, I will try to figure it out, and uh, I'll have it scheduled up for you. So I'll let you know, and then I'll post it out. Until then, my precious brothers and sisters. Uh, what was it commercial I heard? Uh, you are on the Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Something like that. Amen. Anyway, you guys know where you're at. Appreciate you. Take care. Till next time. Uh, just a little bit over an hour, uh, friends. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, right? And thanks for listening. Uh, I, I do appreciate that. You know, um, just kind of wanted to air some things out, kind of vent, vent some feelings out here. I've been kind of, uh, you know, kind of holding it in a little bit. But I, you know, I wanted to just let you guys know where things stand here. Um, and again, really not going nowhere. I, I'm really just going to, you know, kind of figure out my schedule. That's the biggest dilemma I'm having right now is how to work around the uh, constant uh, construction issues that we're having here. I have no other option for another studio. We're not, obviously, we're, you know, for now, we're not going to move locations. But uh, I, I'm just kind of dealing with, uh, you know, an eight to eight seven day a week scheduling and I'm having to try to, you know, work around that and um, trying to uh, figure something out for the broadcast. So anyway, I'll be here when I can be here, friends. Take care. I do appreciate you uh, so much. Amen. And thank you guys for your patience, your understanding, your prayers. I really appreciate that. Uh, friends, and uh, you guys can join me on all the channels. You know where I'm at. I'll post it. Take care. That's it for me, friends. A little after 5 p.m. Uh, on Tuesday, right? To the 18th already. All right. See you soon, friends. Take care. And again, thanks for your understanding and your patience. I'll see you on the next broadcast, friends. Take care. And I'll see you soon, friends. All right. See ya.